Welcome back to my channel. For my first video of the year 2022, I will be dissecting a fetal pig that I got off of the website Home Science Tools. I'm going to show you the fetal pig in a second, but first I wanted to just let you know that I've never dissected a fetal pig before. I have dissected a frog, but I'm pretty sure dissecting a pig would be a lot different than dissecting a frog. And I thought it would be cool that instead of using the tools that come with the fetal pig, like the scalpel or the scissors, I'll be going a little more primitive and I'll be using razor blades that I get from this piece of obsidian. Here's the fetal pig. Before I dissect the pig, I should probably let you know that if you're not into seeing animals getting dissected or if you're very squeamish, this probably isn't the video for you. I have a lot of other cool videos that you could watch, but you might want to take a pass on this one. But if you're really interested in dissection or Stone Age type tools being used to dissect animals, then I think you're going to really enjoy this video. So first of all, one observation I noticed is the fetal pig has eyelashes. I didn't think a fetal pig would have had eyelashes yet, but this one does, which is pretty interesting to me. And also, I was looking around and I saw this. First, I thought this was maybe its penis, but I think it's just the umbilical cord. I think male and female pigs both have these. So, can't tell yet if it's a boy or a girl. The kit said that it has openings. I think it said that the if it has an opening behind the umbilical cord, then it was a boy. And if it's by the anus, then it's a girl. So I'll have to see what that looks like whenever I get this opened. There's a lot of chemicals. I'm guessing this is like the preservation chemicals in the bag, so I'll have to be careful not to spill that all over the place whenever I open up the bag with the fetal pig in it. I'm gonna put it onto this tray. You see the styrofoam tray I have under it? And then I have these pins that I will be using to pin the fetal pig down. And then I'll dissect it with the obsidian blades. Speaking of which, now I just have to make the blades out of this piece of obsidian using basic flint mapping techniques. So I have the obsidian and I also have my percussion bopper tool that I use to flint nap. I'm not the best flint napper at all but I kind of know the basics of flint napping, so I should be able to make a few crude blades that I think will be usable to dissect the pig. What I'm gonna try to do, I'm thinking about maybe, uh, I'm gonna try hitting it along here. So I'm gonna start hitting about right here and hopefully on the back it, will remove a flake, kind of like, uh, maybe going like that, hopefully. That's what I'm going for, at least. Okay, let's try this. I also abraded a little bit just so it's not brittle and it won't kind of, so the uh, obsidian edge wouldn't just crumble and it'll actually flake off. Here we go, first strike. Mm. Ooh, see what I got. This should be good to use as a blade. After a few strikes on the obsidian using my percussion tool, I was able to get some suitable blades. You see, some of them are pretty sharp. I have this big one too that has a point. 
do you think will be useful? And so it looks like this is my toolkit for my pig dissection. So I'm gonna get ready to open up the bag with the pig in it. And then I'm gonna dissect it with these obsidian tools. I just got the pig out of the bag. I have these gloves on. And I was just examining its mouth. I opened, I was able to get it open. It says make some incisions uh, along the sides of its mouth and then break open its, its use the scissors to break open its jawbone. I tried doing that, it was a little tricky. I wasn't sure exactly how far to go to get to the jawbone. So I just kind of uh, took each side of his mouth and just kind of pried it open King Kong style instead. And that seemed to work well. I think the scissors weakened the jaws, but me prying it open is what really got it open. So here's his little teeth. Hold on, let me see if I can, it has these upper teeth. Let me see if, uh, oh yeah, here's one. They're pretty sharp actually. Right here, just like a, almost like a dog's teeth. Uh, there's the other one. And then here's his bottom teeth, which aren't as sharp as those two top canine teeth almost. I'm pretty sure they're so-called canines, even though it's a pig. Yeah, because I think they call it canines on humans, so they would call it canines on a pig. But anyways, that was its, its uh, mouth. And here's the diagram that came with the kit about dissecting downward. It says start right here below the... Uh, right below the sternum and just cut downward, I guess right below the, lib, the rib cage. So I'm gonna try to do that with the obsidian. I'm gonna try maybe with a big piece. And then like the more fine incisions, I'll use a smaller piece for. Let me see if I can get this into frame. And then feel for its sternum. I think this hard thing right here is its, its sternum. So I'm gonna cut right below here using the obsidian. Oh wow, it's cutting really good. That was actually really surprising. Pretty clean cuts too. Okay. On the other side. I didn't get the whole dissection process on film because it would have been a really long video if I did. But I just finished dissecting the fetal pig and I was able to pin its skin flaps to the tray. Uh, and I did it entirely with the obsidian. I didn't need to use any modern tools, which I think was pretty cool. Everything you see here, I cut open with using the obsidian blades. If you're wondering why there's hair on the tray now, uh, it's because I left the fetal pig, I took a break, and then I left the fetal pig unattended for a while. And then someone picked it up and brought it into our living room. And then I screamed out of surprise. And then he dropped, Navajo dropped it on the carpet. So the fetal pig was dropped on the carpet and then got all the hair on it. So that's why there's hair all over the tray now. Anyways, so let's look at some of the obvious parts. So right here, you got the large intestine, 
And then over here you got the small intestines. And then this is the liver. And by the way, I'm going off of the little pamphlet that came with it. Let's see what else we could find. This is the, right here is the spleen. And I'm not sure what these are. They look like, they might be the ovaries. I think it's a girl. I'm pretty sure these are the ovaries. At first they, I thought they looked like little kidney beans. So I was like, oh, maybe they're the kidneys, but I think these are too small to be kidneys. So I think this, these are little ovaries. And that means that this is a girl. Uh, I think this right here is the stomach of the pig. These are the lungs. And this is, a, is the heart, the big artery going across the heart. And on the edges here, you can see the uh, rib cage. And I think this might be the kidney right here. right underneath the liver. And those are all the obvious organs. Yeah, so that was pretty much all I've noticed on the pig. There's this interesting looking pink thing. I'm not sure exactly what that is. Maybe that's like the urinary tract or something. But actually, I don't think it is because this is the umbilical cord. I'm not sure what this would have been used for. Anyways, uh, that's pretty much all I have for this video. Just a neat dissection biology video. I hope you enjoyed it. Better dispose of this pig before Navajo grabs it again. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.